Welcome back everyone to tutorial number 9. Okay, now that we've learned about the let and const keywords, the question is when to use let and when to use const. Now I would recommend using const over let as much as possible because most of the variables we use usually require a one-time initialization and are never really reassigned. Also by using the const keyword, it helps us to identify variables which are getting reassigned when that really wasn't our intention. So use let when reassignment is expected and use const when a new value assignment is not expected. So just to give you a quick idea, let me give you some examples. So let's say we are calculating the area of a circle which is pi times radius squared. So then we can have a const declaration which says const pi equals 3.14. Now this is because the value of pi is never, is, is never really going to change within the program and even if it does, it shouldn't and const is going to not allow that. It is going to flag an error and we can go have a look at the piece of code where pi is getting reassigned. Now another example would be to declare an array, we can have const max size and we can have this 200. So when we are creating arrays and we want to have a maximum size of the array, we can create using the const declaration. So that is about const. And let's say we are writing a program to swap two numbers. So a is equal to, let's let a is equal to five. Okay. Let a equals five and let b equals 10. Now, if you're trying to uh, swap the two values, we would say a is equal to a plus b, and b is equal to is equal to a minus b, and a is equal to a minus b. Now, if you have a look here, we have two variables a and b, but the value is constantly being reassigned. So, in the, in such a scenario, we would use let declaration. So these are some points to have in mind when replacing war with const and let. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.